Now to the latest attempt by President Trump to dispute his election loss. The president speaking at a rally in Georgia last night, attempting to boost the two Republican Senate runoff candidates, but veering into unfounded conspiracies. And the stakes in those two Senate races couldn't be higher. Here's ABC's Faith Abube. More than a month after his defeat, President Trump traveling to Georgia, falsely claiming victory in a state where he was defeated by nearly 12,000 votes. You know, we won Georgia, just so you understand. But this rally was not supposed to be about Trump. He was in town to drum up support for Republican Senators Kelly Leffler and David Perdue, ahead of their crucial runoffs in January. Some Republicans fear the president's words will cost them the Senate. Just last week, one voter asked RNC Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel if elections are rigged, what's the point? How are we going to give money and work when it's already decided? It's not decided. This is the key. It's not decided. Democrats firing up support. You need to get out to the polls and vote. Georgia is going to determine, ultimately, the course of the Biden presidency. But instead of focusing on the Senate, President Trump spent most of his 100-minute speech railing against the election results, blasting Republican state leaders for refusing to help him overturn the will of the voters, pressuring Republican Brian Kemp. Your governor could stop it very easily if he knew what the hell he was doing. He could stop it very easily. But Georgia has already certified Joe Biden's victory. Election workers painstakingly recounting every ballot by hand. We've never found systemic fraud, not enough to overturn the election. And Tom, the candidates in those crucial runoffs are set to debate tonight. Incumbent Republican Kelly Leffler set to face off against Democrat Reverend Raphael Warnock. The other Democrat, John Ossoff, will be taking questions next to an empty podium. His challenger, David Perdue, refusing to participate. Tom? All eyes on Georgia and Faith Abube making her debut tonight on World News. Faith, welcome to the broadcast and thank you for that report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.